Hello, in this video we'll show you how to find your Shopify merchant ID. Now it's a very easy process. So what you have to do is firstly go to your store. Now in order to actually start finding your merchant ID, you should first pick a plan and you should already have set up your payment method. So if you go to the settings panel right over here and then if you go to the payment section, you should support at least one payment method. So if you have any of them, like for example, you can activate PayPal if you have it. But in my country, I don't have exactly PayPal. Once you have successfully connected your PayPal account with your Shopify or any other payment method that you have added to your Shopify account, then the next thing that you have to do is you have to go to the customer care service or the customer support of Shopify. So as you can see, my PayPal is active. Now, if you don't have PayPal in your country, there are many more options. If you go to the search by providers option, you can just simply search from providers or simply search by payment methods. It's totally up to you. Like for example, if you want Apple Pay or let's say for example, MasterCard or Visa. If you want any one of those, just simply choose that. Or if you want, you can also search by provider and they will even provide more than one. As you can see, for example, Razor Pay over here. This is one of the providers and it will provide a lot of payment methods as you can see right over here. So if you want this, you can also use it. It's still clip to you. Now, once you will have your payment method set up, which I already have, which is PayPal over here, you have to contact the support team because the merchant's ID is not from the admin side of the page. In order to find your merchant ID, you will need to contact the support team because they are the only people who will be able to give you your merchant's ID. So what you have to do is click on my store, then help center. Now right over here, just simply start a chat and momentarily someone from the support team will contact you in this particular panel. So that's it and if this video was helpful, please consider subscribing and liking the video.